Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Roman Joy, and today I'm going to show you guys all the spawn locations for all of the winter items in Shindo Life 2. And make sure that you guys subscribe. We are 82 subscribers, which is insane. But if you would subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. My goal is 100 subscribers by February 1st. If we could do that, that would be insane. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video, and let's get into the video. Alright guys, the first one we're going to do is going to be the snowman shadow. So the shadow snowman right here. I'm going to do it first because it's the easiest one out of all of them to get. And I'm not really sure when it spawns. If you're looking for this or if you don't have it, you can click on the um, scroll and you'll see when it spawns and you know where it spawns. But in this video, I'm going to tell you guys the location. So this is, so start uh, you have to be in the rock village, so the ob the obelisk village, the rock one. And then I recommend being in front of the Hokage office with the little uh, symbol up there. Then once you're on that, go on this tree. Then go up this vine. So make sure your surroundings look like mine. But So go up this vine. I'm going pretty slow because I don't want to um, get any of you guys like off track. Then you're going to want to go on to this tree right here or it doesn't really matter just any type of tree or just you don't have to go on this tree just make it close to here then you have to go on to this little pillar right here and it should be right here and then that is where it does spawn so that's where the shadow snowman these right here that's where these spawn these are basically clones that do attack, so it's basically like shadow clones, but they do attack uh, the, your opponent. But anyway, let's get in to the next item. Alright guys, so the next item that we're going to be looking for is going to be the sleigh bomb. So it's right here. Um, I already got it unlocked yesterday, but it is right here. It's called sleigh bomb, and I think it spawns at 6.15 or 6.35, but from the ramen shop, Head down to this bridge, all right? So just go down this bridge, and you have to go across it, and you'll see, just go across the water as well, and you'll see a big wall right there, like right in front of me, you see that wall. But, so go up that wall, run up that wall, and just follow where I go, because it's a pretty long place to go. So climb up this rock right here, and then go, uh, you see these pillars of rock, then go over here, and you see these ones, head down here, and the, and then go up here, on to this pillar, my mode ran out, so it's going to be a little bit slower, but go up on this, and it will spawn somewhere up here, yep, it spawns right here, right on top, in this little snow area, all right? But let's but let's get in to the next item. All right, guys. So the next item that you guys are going to want to do is going to be the Christmas sword. So it spawns at four twenty-five or four fifteen or four thirty-five. Either one of those, and it, the rarities run out of twenty-five. So from the ramen shop, as you can see on the side of my screen, that's the ramen shop. You really want to go on to this bridge. All right, and if you know if you know where I went the last time, like the item before this, that basically go to the same exact place. But don't go to the same place; just cross this bridge. That's what I mean. So you're crossing the bridge, and so just keep going. And I had to put on my Biakugan, but just keep going on to. Uh, you see that like big wall? Just go up that like you did for the other item. So just keep walking, just like this. All right, guys, so the next thing you want to do is walk up this right there and just keep walking. And you see the spiky things, like the two claw type things. So you see the other claw. So you see the two claws, and it's going to be right there. So it's going to be, you see those claws? It's going to be just right on the side. If you found it in your server, you would see it where I am. So just follow where I go, basically, and, that, and let's get into the next item. 
Okay guys, so the next item we're going to be looking for is going to be the Santa Platanium Winter, alright? It's a new mode that came out for winter, and just so you know, all of these items are limited, so you, they're going to go away. So, they spawn in the Nimbus Village at 115, and it's called Santa Platanium Winter, and the rarities run out of 25, like a lot of items that are from the winter updates. But basically, go to the ramen shop, alright? So, start at the ramen shop. And you can basically follow where I go. So, so head to the ramen shop. And from the ramen shop, you're going to want to go to the bridge that I like that I've been going to uh, recently. Like the bridge that I've been going to for all the other ones. Just go across that bridge. Basically, go to the claw place that I've been going to. Every other one that I've been going to in the Nimbus Village. So just go to the spiky place. You'll probably see it. Uh, once you have the spiky place, so that's just a little quick thing if you guys are looking for this very fast. Um, but just if you if not and you want to take some time to know where it actually is, um, then just then just watch until I get there. So I'm going there right now. So you see the spikes over there, and you'll probably see it. it's going to be right ahead of me. So right ahead of me is where it is going to spawn. So it's going to spawn right there. And there is a boss you have to fight, so it's going to be pretty difficult, but let's get in to the next item. Alright guys, so the next item we're going to be looking for, or I already know where it is, but the next item that we're going to, I'm going to show you guys where it is, it's going to be the Slay Summon, alright? This is like the Hawk Summon, but this is a Santa Slay, so it's pretty, pretty cool, and it does cost a lot of money when you do unlock it. But, so, you're in the Ember Village, alright? It spawns in the Ember Village. At 7.15, I believe, but you have to go to the outside of the village, alright? So, just follow where I go, get all your fastest stuff on if you can, and so just you're going to want to go outside of the village. Just follow where I go, it's pretty hard to explain where it's at. Well, actually, if you know where the core tailed spirit is, the nine tails, then just go to that location, you'll probably see it. But if you guys don't know where that is, just follow where I go. And so you'll see like the water area. So you have to go on that tree, go on another tree. Just you guys can rewatch this if you want to, or slow it down if you want to know where it's at. And it's going to spawn right here. So there's a like, waterfall that goes down, and it's going to spawn right there. Now let's get in to the next item. All right, guys, so the next item that we're going to be looking for is going to be. So all the next items that we're looking for are going to be in the weapons category. So the next item we're going to be looking for is in the Dunes Village, and it is called the Gingerbread Man. It is one of the best consumables in the game right now, so get this fast, because it is going to go away. And this is the last consumable that they're going to come out with. They're not going to come out with any more, but it's going to be called, they might, I'm not sure, but I you can't confirm that but basically go to the ramen shop so we're going to be looking for, so the gingerbread man i'm going to show you guys where it spawns and so go to the ramen shop you see the ramen shop right there go to a li little buildings above it all right so i might fall yeah i fell so um to go to those buildings above it and go to the arena if you don't know where, if you don't know where the arena is just follow where i go so you see the building or you see the ramen shop right there and you see the building that you're on. You can't really see the ramen shop, like you, but you can see like the little icon. And then you're gonna see this building. Then go on this tree, and then go on to the other tree. Then go on to this little bridge type looking thing. Then you see the arena to your left. Hop on that tree, and there's the arena right there. So hop onto that tree again, and go up onto the other tree. You'll probably see it by now if you have good eyes. You'll see like the little green. But um, so go across it again, and you'll see it. So I accidentally fell, but it's gonna be right here. So the arena is straight across from me to my left. And so basically go on the trees until you get to where I am on the rock. But it's better than the health pot. It gives like a lot of health. But anyway, let's get into the next item. Alright guys, so the next item I'm going to show you guys where it is, it is called the Candy Blade, guys. So this one's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I, I really wanted this one, and I actually got it the, yesterday. I got, like, most of these items yesterday. But it spawns in the Haze Village at, like, 
it's six or seven. I don't know. If you don't have it, you can see what time it spawns. Um, in the weapons category, but basically start at the ramen shop then go to your left and go across this bridge All right Also, it is pretty long but if you guys know where the other bridge is like with next to that little House type thing go there. All right, because you guys might be faster than me You guys might have better stuff than I do but just go to the other bridge that I'm gonna go to right now You'll see it and you'll see all these houses. Right behind the house that's right ahead of me is where it is going to spawn. So there's the bridge right there. And it's going to spawn right behind that house. All right. But let's get in to the next item. All right, guys. So the next item we're going to be looking for, or I already know where it is. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys where the location is. It's going to be called the Ice Shuriken. So go to the ramen shop. And you see the ramen shop? Go to your left. Go onto the bridge, just like the handy blade. And when you're done with the bridge, turn to your right, all right? So just go to your right, and you'll see it um, on that path right there or on the maroon rock, all right? So it's going to be either on the rock or on the floor right there. You'll definitely see it. But that is where the ice shuriken spawns. And those are all the locations for all of the winter items. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and thank you all for watching i hope you all subscribed peace out